Hello, this is the HP 6555E printer and I just opened the box and got it out so I'm going to show you how to set it up and then I'll do some printer demos for you. The first thing I need to do after getting the printer unboxed is to plug it in. It plugs into the back with a power cord that is 57 inches long. You can even see there's a power button and a USB B port. While the printer powers up, you can see the light came on on the screen down there. At first, I need to answer a few questions on the front screen. First, I need to specify the language. English. Confirm that. Then select the country. Then it tells me to go here to finish the setup on my phone. After following the QR code on the front uh, on the front screen of the printer, you can see on my phone it brings up this page right here. And so now let's go through the installation process. First, I'm going to click on Start Setup. You can watch the video if you'd like, or you can just follow along with me. So now it tells us to load some paper. I got some paper here. Let's see if we can load it into the front tray right there. You'll see there's a few guides on the front to slide in the paper. I might have to expand those out a little bit. I am on the wrong side of the printer, but I still think I got the paper in there just fine. So let's go back to the app on our phone and say we've got it plugged in. We pulled open the paper tray. We loaded the paper. We used letter paper. We adjusted those guides. We closed the paper tray. Now it says open the output extender. That is that piece right there. You'll notice it turns and flips out. You can flip up that little piece on the end there if you care to do that. And let's hit the next button. Time to install the ink. So let's work on that. Now let's install the ink. It is HP 68 and this one is black right there. So let's open up our printer. And you kind of can notice if I slide this a little bit closer angle this down here is where the ink goes and here's the black side so let's take our ink right here open this up here is our HP 68 ink cartridge let's pull off this orange tab right there peel that off and it slides into the black cartridge spot you want to angle it to the back just a little bit Slide it in there and then you want to lift up the front and it should snap into place. Now let's install the HP 68 tricolor ink cartridge into that slot right there. Now you can see the HP 68 tricolor series. You'll notice the top of this one is purple instead of black like the black ink. But we will need to remove the orange tab here and remember to angle it slightly like this to go in and we're going to try to get that into the spot there we go work out a little bit and then you got to lift up and press on the front side here and it snapped into place the ink got installed so we can close the lid here and over on our app we can scroll through and see how to install the ink and hit the next button on that. Now it wants us to do the alignment required for best printing quality. Select a line on the front screen of your printer. Let me see if that's there. Original HP cartridge is installed. Click OK. And then there's an align button. Click that align button. I have that clicked. Now I believe it's going to print a piece of paper through the printer. It's making a few small noises as it prepares and gets ready to print. I can now see and hear the paper is being printed out of the printer. Once that alignment page is printed, you can remove it from the printer, but I'm going to open the scan bed first and you can see mine is new so I got to get rid of that protective insert that came 
that comes when it just gets out of the box. I believe you take the alignment page and you line it up in here, put it far up into the back top corner up there. And if you want to know the direction, put it, my printer page looks like this. I am putting it down just like so. Close this up and then select scan on the printer controls. Right there, there's a scan button. Now it's going to scan that piece of paper in there and make sure the alignment is just right. When the alignment is complete, you will see a message on your little screen there that says alignment is complete. Then you can come back to the app on your phone and you can press the next button. Now it tells you to install HP Smart to finish the setup. So let's do that on our phone and I'll be back in the HP Smart app. Once you have the HP Smart app installed on your phone, you can install it through the App Store, whether you have an iPhone or an Android, just go to the App Store and install it. And you will come up to the screen that asks if you want to add a printer. I'm gonna click add a printer because that's what I wanna do. And then I'm going to choose which printer to add, a uh, new printer or already connected. I'm going to choose new printer. And I'm going to connect mine via Wi-Fi. Just make sure your phone is on the same Wi-Fi that you want your printer connected to. I'm going to choose Wi-Fi. Continue. Uh, it tells me to get the ready printer ready. It is on a flat service surface. Connect your mobile device to Wi-Fi. Turn on nearby location permissions. And let's choose continue. And mine gave me a notification to allow HP Smart to find and connect to nearby devices. I clicked allow. Using location data, I clicked OK. Allow HP Smart to access devices location. I'm going to click while using the app. And now I can see on my on my phone, the HP NV 6500E series shows up. This is the 6555E printer. So that's the correct one. I'm going to choose that. It now wants me to connect my printer to the Wi-Fi. I'm going to click continue here and connect it to my Wi-Fi. And then I will be back after it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Now I can see the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. I did have to manually enter my Wi-Fi password to get mine to connect. That's okay, it worked fine. And now it says tap the check mark on my printer display, that's over here. It says allow, click on that, and you can see now it is continuing to prepare the printer and set that up. Now we can see the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi at my house. Good job for us. Now let's continue on. Click that continue button. Now it's going to ask us about connected printing services. Let's, uh, I'm just going to click accept all. Now it's going to continue to ask us about setting up HP Plus for smart printing capabilities. I don't think I'm going to do this for right now. Uh, you may want to do this, but I'm going to skip over it to save us a little bit of time. Do not activate HP Plus. Decline your exclusive HP Plus offer. I'm going to decline it. You may want to. On this dynamic security notice, I'm going to continue through that one. Now it's going to ask me a little bit about HP Instant Ink. That is HP's service that uh, ink automatically gets delivered to your house when you run low so that you never have to run to the store to get it. Uh, uh, once again, uh, you do get, this tells me I get two weeks, or it gives me a two-month free trial of it. Again, I think I'm going to uh, do not enable ink delivery, not for now. I'm going to skip the offer. Now it says confirm ink and paper are installed before continuing. We have installed the paper and the ink. So let's hit continue setup. I'm going to auto update my firmware. So I'm going to click on auto update and save. 
Now it tells us the setup is complete. Let's click print a document and see if it works. So it brings up a document that we can print. I'm going to choose print and see if that works. It did nicely print out that initial document for us. It's a nice color document and the print quality does look pretty good there. But I'm going to do the last step on my phone here and it says print from other devices. I'm going to choose not right now. And then I'm going to say it says setup is done. I'm going to click all done. And there we have it. That is the printer getting set up. Now I'm going to do a couple of printing demos for you. Now let's do a demo of printing with the HP 6555E printer. I have a document lined up and set to print. So let me go click on the print button and get it to print out of the HP 6555E printer. It's taking a couple seconds, but now it comes out printing. So there is the document that I wanted to print. Maybe I want to scan this document as well. I can put it on the flatbed scanner right here and line that up real well. And on the front of the scanner, I can press the copy button and it will ask if I want to copy document copy or ID card copy. I'm going to choose document copy and then it's going to tell me how many do I want printed. I'm just going to press the green button for one and it's going to start cop scanning and copying for me. And you'll see it did scan that out. Now, one other way that you can copy documents, uh, I kind of wanted to show you this. I'm going to take both of these documents. I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to open up this paper feed and you know, inside the documents, I'm going to put them face up. I'm going to push them down into the uh, paper feed on top of the scanner. Go back to the front here and it already brings up, do you want to do some copies? And I'm going to click the green button. And I think it's going to start pulling those papers through. It does. It's starting to pull the top one through. You can see it disappearing right there. It's going to pull that through and scan it. Hopefully it'll pull the second document through and scan that as well. It nicely is pulling in the second document through to scan that as well. So it just automatically do, will do the whole stack of papers. Here's an example of printing a two page document front and back, sometimes called duplex printing. Here's an example on the HP 6555E printer. So make sure that when you're printing, you selected print on both sides, then hit the print button and we will see how it comes out. Notice how it printed out half of the document and it stops right there. Then it pulls it back in and it prints off the other side of the document. It has to pause there to let the ink dry for just a second or two. And then it prints it out. So there you have it. You have the uh, page one. And then on the back here, you have the back of that print demo, demo page two. So that is how it prints front and back. So there you have it. There is an install and a demo of how you print and how you use the HP 6555E printer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.